Stay with us. We are going to see the high-flying antics of America's Daredevil Circus family. And later on PM Magazine, we'll take you back up into the air here at Pasco County to watch the Sky Knights in action. Skydiving is not a sport for everyone. It takes a special type of personality to jump from a plane at 10,000 feet with only a parachute to save you. You know, it's not unlike the Knock family, who are the subject of our second story tonight. This is a daredevil circus family where mom, father, and four sons risk life and limb 90 feet above the air with absolutely no net to save them. Well, tonight we're going to watch one of their memorable performances in Tennessee. Watching them come down is breathtaking, and seeing them swaying on top of the 100-foot flimsy poles isn't much easier on the heart. You're watching the Knock family, more accurately known by their stage name, the Nerveless Knocks. At Tommy Bartlett's Water Circus in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, you'll find the Knocks, mother, father, and four sons in some places not just everyone would go. Like Eugene Jr. and Michelangelo, high atop a wire on a motorcycle and a moving trapeze. Or Johan doing handstands over some precariously balanced chairs. Or 13-year-old Bello riding a unicycle across a wire. But the centerpiece of the act is the sway poles, which everyone but the youngest boy, Bello, balances on three times a day, seven days a week, rain or shine. And a hundred feet up there, not one mistake is allowed. Well, you're dead. You know, there's no doubt about that. Any one of these acts. This act here goes up to 150 feet above the water. This one here is 100 feet off the water. Your body just can't take that kind of impact. When you fell from up here, to, that's it. He was a nice guy. <laughs> <laughs> One of the reasons the Knox can face danger so gracefully is that their family has been doing this kind of work for seven generations. The Knox family circus began in Switzerland way back in 1840, and the tradition has survived unbroken until now, even in this branch of the Knox family, which moved to America. Mrs. Knox, Aurelia, comes from six generations of circus people in Czechoslovakia and Italy. She feels fortunate that none of her family has been hurt. No, thank God, no. But to my brother-in-law it did, and my nephew. Yeah, they do the same. We used to be all the family together, and the pole snapped. But, and he landed, luckily, he landed to a big net and a cage of lions. And uh, so he broke his knee, but it was, I mean, it broke the fall, you know what I mean? So it was lucky. So. With such a strong family tradition, you think the boys wouldn't have a choice to do anything else but perform up in the air. Oh, there's no pressure on it. You can no pressure nobody to go up on those poles up on a high wire. And when you go up there, you have to be relaxed, with nice, with ease, you know. You cannot go with scared up there. Your muscles don't do, don't balance when you're tight. I sometimes get scared, yes. At night, you know, you don't, you, sometimes you can't see things. It gets a little slippery from the rain, so you, you're more cautious. But I guess I wear for more for my brothers and my, you know, my mom or whatever. Because I get scared for them. Not all the Knox took to this work equally. Eugene Sr. remembers Michelangelo. When he was 13, he never looked up and never watched us. No, I wouldn't. I was shy. Yeah. I thought I wasn't, I wasn't good enough. He hated himself. What did you think about that? He thought, Jesus, we have a problem here. <laughs> well, there's no problem now. In fact, it's Michelangelo who does the dangerous trick of hanging by one foot under the motorcycle. <laughs> He also does the most practicing on the trapeze beside the family's motor home. Of course, the other brothers practice often as well to keep up the family tradition. Young Bello has decided to take on an important role in the family, that of the clown. His act and his costume are the very same as that of his uncle, Pio Nock, in Switzerland. It's almost the same act his Swiss grandfather used. I do uh, the same thing as my uncle Pio, but he does it uh, 60... 65 to 100 feet in the air, and mine is like 11 feet off the ground. I always love clowns. I mean, at home I have ceramic clowns and cases. I have everything of clowns. The Knox have spent years traveling. They stay only a couple of months a year at their home in Sarasota, Florida. Mrs. Knox has to repair all the costumes on the road. 
And we enjoy our home in Sarasota. We have the beach, swimming pool, anything we want. That's enough. After the end of the two, three months, we have to start cleaning the trail and pack the trail. And no, it never came to my mind. I don't know. I've been traveling all my life. I was born in a caravan. <laughs> you have six people, mother and father, four boys. We all live together, we eat together, we sleep together, we work together, we play together. We've been around the world five times together. Uh, my youngest brother is only 13 years old. He's been around the world four times already. Each of us speaks at least four languages. I speak four, my mom speaks six, you know. Uh, we enjoy it. I mean, it's just, it's just great. When you're in school, do people know what you do? Everybody. Sure, we let them know. They think it's great. We do, uh, we do stuff for them. We do handstands, some assaults. Some assaults. Teachers everything. think it's great. Yeah. We tell them. I mean, they come up and, you know, will you come when up we tell come, us what you're saying? When we go back to Florida, they all know us. Oh, the circus boys are back, you know, the Knox. While we were there, John's high school diploma came in the mail. Education is important to the Knox. Oh, beautiful. Congratulations, huh? Eugene has received his bachelor's degree in aviation. In addition to all the performing the boys do three times a day, they also work the concession stand between shows. Can I help anybody? Any parents who've had trouble with their children could do worse than to imitate the wholesome lifestyle of this circus family. The Nog boys certainly don't get into trouble. Well, we are too busy. I mean, there is no time. Here especially, when, when, here is three show day, and each has his own job. I think when you raise kids, the life is like an echo. If you make bad things, then bad things come back to you. Ahead for the Knox are new acts they're devising, more daring ones than ever. Eugene hopes to incorporate flying into their aerial act. Michelangelo will be on the trapeze. John is coming up with something called a space wheel, and Bello will go up on the sky pole soon. All of it will take practice and dedication. We were blessed with having four sons. Each of them are not afraid of heights. I never was. Neither one of my brothers ever were. But you still respect the altitude. Still respect it. Think about it. And uh, if you watch the act over a period of time, you'll notice that we never, ever change. Every hand is in the same place at every time. So it's just like, you know, just keep doing it and doing it and doing it, and you'll never make a mistake. <laughs>